at the gym right now. But bam, about to get this workout in. Last workout of 2019. I'm gonna go in there and uh, kill this last leg workout, and I'm going to work on uh, Olympic weightlifting a little bit. I recently got into this, uh, probably a month ago or so. I started practicing with one of the college teams here uh, up north, so it's like 30 minutes away from my place. But essentially, I started practicing with their weightlifting team, and I really enjoyed it. And I think I have a very good foundation on my lower body because my lower body is a lot stronger than my upper body. It's like embarrassingly like unproportionate but and hopefully you guys uh get to see my journey and hopefully i keep on with this and i don't injure myself because i know it is uh, a very uh jerky movement if you know what i'm saying all right i'm gonna get this workout in dude so i'm doing snatches right now and i have no idea what the hell i'm doing but i'm still trying to practice from what i've learned with the uh, weightlifting team so <clears throat> This is like super lightweight, it's like 65 pounds, and it's basically nothing, right? I can manhandle this, but I'm still trying to get the technique down, so I've been trying to practice with lighter weight, and hopefully it carries on forward as I progress in the future. I'm gonna record my set and see how bad my form is, and I know very little about it, but essentially I'm just trying to review the form and progress from there, because I know there are basically three things that I want to focus on right now on each set, but having a video definitely helps me correct my own form. So let's get to it. So I just finished up with the gym and I'm about to pick up some food and I don't usually do this mainly because it costs money to go out to eat right and also I uh, don't like spending money and going out to eat even though the food is delicious but I'm gonna head over to Popeyes I actually didn't I spent like actually maybe 84 cents and I'll teach you how to do this, how to spend 84 cents on a $10 meal. So I'm gonna go pick it up, and it's that freaking chicken sandwich thing that everybody was crazy about a couple months ago, and it sold out, and then someone got stabbed for it. Yeah, it, yeah, but I'm gonna go get it right now. All right, I am back at home, got the meal. Here's the freaking chicken sandwich, man. Popeye's chicken sandwich for 83 cents and uh here it is the whole meal yeah i don't know why it costs this like freaking more than eight dollars plus uh because i gotta spend ten dollars i got an apple pie as well so i love apple pie apple pie is the best but besides all that this whole thing i can't believe i still can't believe this is like eight nine bucks total well this including this is like 10 something right 1083 or something before i get into how i got this for just 83 cents i'm gonna test out the freaking chicken sandwich dude welcome to a sick angle dude all right uh got the sandwich and i don't have any sauce with it but whatever man holy crap this thing is small <laughs> this thing is small dude all right first bite first bite This is pretty freaking good, dude. I know this thing, this chicken breast or whatever chicken meat they have is rib meat, mainly because real chicken breasts don't, it, it flake, it's flaky, right? But when you bite into this, it's it's um, bouncy. The, the meat is bouncy. I don't know how to like explain it. I don't have the vocab. 
I don't have the vocabulary of a freaking PhD, so I, I barely have one for a college student. So I'm like using the best of my ability to describe it. But essentially when they have rib meat with chicken or any sort of poultry, it is bouncy, creates this, I don't know, weird texture that's not actually real chicken. But besides all that, this tastes pretty good from just the first bite. Bone apple tea. Hmm. Grabbed some food, took a shower, did some work, and now I'm here to tell you how I got that Popeye's chicken sandwich, the freaking hyped up chicken sandwich, for only 37 cents. And I'll tell you how by you smashing that thumbs up button. Oh my goodness, you, you opened yourself up with that one, man. Man. That, that was clever. No, but for real though, this this is the reason I got my chicken sandwich from Popeyes for only 37 cents. Because of that card, it allows me to basically use Seamless or Grubhub to do a pickup order from Popeyes, and that card gives me $10 credit every single month. And because of that $10 credit, I haven't used it the whole month. Today was the last day for me to use it. Otherwise, I, I would have just lost that $10 credit. I used that credit on that sandwich meal with the, uh, I thought it was apple pie, but it wasn't apple pie. That whole meal for 37 cents when it rounded up with taxes. So basically, if you do the simple math, since the whole meal was $10.37, they gave me this credit card, this American Express gold card, gave me $10 credit, use that $10 credit, and therefore I paid the difference of 37 cents. Sick, dude. Save that money. And for those who are interested in that card or just want a little bit more info, there are plenty of credit card channels and credit card videos out there. And that one channel that I want to specifically recommend you to is Jake Broy or B-R-O-E, whatever, however you freaking pronounce it. English is not my first language. But for real though, check out this channel, link in the description below. He gives a lot of good credit card information the past years. Feel free to check out his channel. He's a relatively small YouTuber as well. So I think he is a pretty good source of information and he dives in a little bit deeper on what this card provides. And for those who actually want to grab this American Express gold card yourself and start utilizing that $10 credit each month, you could use the link down below. It is a referral link, so it does help me out whenever you enroll in the card. But if you want more information, I highly recommend you just to watch a YouTube video from Jake or just use that referral link I have below that tends to give you all the information that you need as well. For those who click the referral link and you find out that there is an annual fee, yes, there is. But for service members, there is something called the Service Member Relief act or civil service member relief act something like that so that act basically allows any service member active duty currently to basically get this card without the annual fee if you are a service member you could apply and use that but if you're not uh, unfortunately you would have to pay that annual fee and i usually don't eat out and when i do i use that freaking card mainly because it maximizes the rewards points back don't need George Lopez. What the heck? Whoa, dude. Happy New Year, dude. Sick. I'm not going out to drink because, one, I have no friends, and two, alcohol destroys my productivity the next day, and three, I don't want to spend money. Life of a cheapskate. And dude that doesn't have any friends. AKA a loner. I had the weirdest dream though. The comedian used to be in like a sitcom or something. Yeah. Weird. Weird ass dream. And that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to smash that thumbs up button because it really helps the channel out. And I'm basically starting up again. So help me out. I hope you found this somewhat valuable and you have taken action in improving your life with that information so with that being said i hope you guys have a good day hope you guys have a good 
rest of your year because it is 2020 now and i will catch you guys freaking later see you later dude Ben had potential, Ben had the brain, Ben had the smarts, Ben had the flame, Ben had the ethic, Ben had the weight, Ben had the structure, Ben had the